Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to share with you guys how I paint my Caucasian babies or my fair skin babies. This has been requested for a really long time now and I feel like it's finally the right time to share those techniques with you. And there is no other kit that I'd rather do this with than with Aria by Ping Lao. Not only is she so darn adorable, but she is a peachy kit. And I think, um, at least in my experience of reborning, peachy kits are so hard to neutralize. So I really want to share that with you guys. And I want to share how I neutralize my peachy babies. But not only that, also there is a third awesome thing about this baby and it's definitely something I have never seen before, but she has a lower half torso that is completely attached to her legs. Yes, I know there are no seams, there are no joints. It is just one piece of vinyl and I am so curious as to how I'm going to paint this, how am I going to bake this, and definitely when I am finally done with the baby, how it's all going to come together, how is she going to dress, how is she going to pose, so that is definitely very exciting for me and I'm definitely going to share that with you guys because um, I don't know how I feel about this right now and this is definitely something that is to come for the future. One thing I do want to say is besides the fact that this vinyl piece is so awesome, there is one downside to it. It is very, very squishy. And in my experience, I find it very hard to paint on because when I pound my sponge on this vinyl, I feel like the paint is not going to set as flat and, and as neat as when the vinyl is hard. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to actually make the hole bigger and <laughs> I actually tried to do this with an X-Acto knife but it's not very sharp so I actually switch to scissors and um, you can use whatever you want, X-Acto knife or scissors, whatever works best for you. But for this video, I had to use scissors because I couldn't find my blades. And um, anyway, um, I'm going to insert some polyfill. I will be putting this in the thighs and I will also be putting this throughout the whole torso. And this is going to allow for the vinyl to be a little bit more firm so with that when I am pouncing paint especially doing the mottling the vinyl is not going inward and outward which makes it completely hard to paint on and um, I just have a little bit of a more stiff surface and I can actually apply my paint very flat very evenly without any paint pulling and yeah, so this is why I decided to go ahead and add some polyfill. I didn't add polyfill in the arms. I felt like they were not as squishy as the torso part of the kit is. So I went ahead and I just left them alone. And you would think that the head would also be squishy like the torso, but actually the head is very, very firm. It's hard. And so I am not going to add any polyfill to that since, um, 
there is no need to. But anyway, we can finally, finally start neutralizing this vinyl and I cannot wait for you guys to see when this kit is fully neutralized and comparing it to this first video, it's just, it's amazing. I will not be showing myself applying the layers on all the kit. I'll only be showing segments, um, just so I don't make this video too long, but I am applying my first layer of paint, like I said, on the whole kit. And um, I will not be showing myself also working too much on the lower part of the, um, of the kit unless I can add a diaper just um, for YouTube purposes. Um, I don't want my video to get flagged, but I, if I can add a diaper and work on the baby, I will do that. And so you guys can still see me working on the lower part. But a lot of the video is going to be me working on the head or the face um, just because I think it is one of the best parts of um, creating a reborn doll. So we are done with our first layer of neutralizing layer. and this is what she looks like. I know it's very hard to tell that there is like, there's not a significant difference, but that's why you gotta build layers upon layers upon yes. layers. Nice. And this is layer two. I have not baked the doll yet. Um, there is no need to bake the doll um, after every layer, at least with what I have learned, there is no need to. So this is what she looks like after two layers and this is what she looks like after three layers of neutralizing color. And I think you guys can finally see a difference. You can see how the paint builds up or well not builds up, but it's starting to change the kit. So now I'm going to show you the arms and this is three layers on the arm. And I am going to show you a little bit of the torso as well. And now after three layers, layers I am going to bake my doll and I'm going to let it cool and now we're going to get ready for part two so stay tuned please subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye